Good morning, it is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market doesn't actually open up for about an hour and 15 minutes, but some interesting pre-market activity out there. Uh, ABO been going pretty crazy. So have an order at 1295. So maybe some pre-market activity, but if nothing does actually play out, I will just see you back at the open. All right, ABIO is making a move here. I'm at 12.95. I don't know if it'll actually get up there. Let's see, what time is it? Still only 8.38. So over 45 minutes till the market actually, they were nice. I'm in, beautiful. Looking like I'm gonna be able to get some more. Let's go to 13.95 for the next allotment. So that line right there represents where, where I would be in the green. So let's see what this wants to do. Like I said, I have another order at, I guess I never put that in. Let's go to 1435. Why is it not letting me put that order in? Is it too far away? Let's try 1415. What is going on with this? Can I put it uh put in that? Huh. Let's try it now. Fourteen thirty five. What am I missing here? Why am I not? Well, this is bizarre. It's not letting me put in any orders and I wanna be getting in right now. Yeah, this is very, very strange. Oh, I now see why there's uh, up here. Short, you gotta be kidding me. Shares are no longer available to be shorted. So I got in and now I can't short anymore. Up there with 100% or the, that used to be green, now it's not. So I am just flat out, pretty much I can't do my strategy now. Well, we'll have to see if this pulls back some, but this is uh, at this point not looking too good because I'm not able to build like I wanted to. So apparently I got the tail end of shares that were available too short. And now this. All right, we'll see if this wants to calm down or not, but looking like a loss here. All right, it's dropping down. Have an order at 1450 to try to get out. Well, it's sitting right there, so let's try. 1425. So it's trying to get down there. I'm actually looking like I might be able to get out maybe a little lower. Let's see if it wants to drop down a bit more. All right, I will pause for now. All right, well, I'm just gonna get out there and I can't even get out at 19. Oh, not, just, I just wanna get out of this thing now. I know I'm what, long 14 shares. All right, so there's a $3,100 loss. I, I've never had that happen to me. Been trading over 10 years, never had that happen. Just to recap, I got my 500 shares short, and then all of a sudden, light speed, my broker was like, I'll point out this area, nope, we're not gonna let anybody short anymore. And I was just trapped, and 
there it went, up and up and up, and it very well may pull back. I got greedy, so there's the other lesson. I had a chance to get out with a much less loss, um, but it was looking like it uh, was getting ready to maybe pull back a little bit more. I was wrong, um, and now I reap the, the, the pain of that. So a $3,100 loss, and um, you know, I, I, I preach, you gotta blame yourself. So it is my fault, I'm the one that chose to, to trade a stock like this, but <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible timing on my part. Got in, now no more shares. $3,100 loss, it is what it is. But I, you know, and I guess the, the big learning lesson that I'm gonna have to take away from this and that I want you to take a lesson is what was that? I could have gotten out with like an $800 loss, but uh, I, I thought I might get a, be able to get a little bit more out of it. And then this thing just uh, skyrocketed on up and um, cost me a whole lot more. So I definitely don't wanna post this, but I hit the record button, therefore I gotta post it. So uh, yeah, $3,100 loss, pretty frustrating. But I guess uh, no matter how long you've been trading, it, it, that can happen. So uh, yeah, I, I would say be careful of it, but I don't know how, it's not like there's some sort of message that your broker that I'm aware of that will send you that says, hey, we're about to say no more sh shorting shares. We're gonna let you short, then all of a sudden not. But uh, yeah, all right, well, $3,100 within the grand scheme of things, I'm fully confident I'll be able to, I'll be just fine but that doesn't mean that this is not a, a frustrating experience. So it is what it is. Um, I'll see you back next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.